Independent hip hop artists, I got a pretty important message for you. If you're feeling really stuck in your music career right now, I'm gonna let you in on the actual reason as to why you're feeling stuck and why you actually are stuck and why you're going to be stuck for the rest of your career if you don't fix this thing that we're gonna talk about today. So over the last six months, I've conducted literally thousands of conversations via DMs with different artists and over either Zoom or phone, I've had hundreds of conversations with independent hip hop artists. Uh, I run a music production academy called Rapid Fire Music Academy. And so I talk to artists all, obviously all the time and I do music full time. So my whole life is filled with discussing things with musicians. And by far, it's not even close, the most talked about topic and the most wanted to learn about topic is usually marketing, fan base, promo, views, reach, maybe business, stuff like that. And um, although it is a sexy topic, for probably most of you watching this right now, that is not where you should have your focus. You should learn about it. You should obviously be trying to do it actively. But if your music is not high quality, there's nothing to market. And and, I, and I've always kind of said this, but but I, but this week it's become even more apparent to me as I've kind of like started to have more conversations with people, I've really started to see how bad it is. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. There's never going to be anything more important in your music career than the quality of your music. And the quality of your music is dynamic. It's ever changing, meaning you can never get too good at making music. You can always improve the quality. And plus, even once you have a high quality, you got to keep it consistent. So let me script this part out for you and maybe kind of change some of your beliefs and make you take some different actions today. So if you're at a place right now where you're buying beats on BeatStars or getting free for profit beats on YouTube or leasing beats, and you're also trying to mix and master yourself and it sounds bad, or you have a homie mixing and mastering for you for cheap and it sounds bad, or you're paying out hundreds of dollars for mixing and mastering, and you are not controlling the creative process and the quality of your music, you have a problem. You have a big problem. Your problem is not marketing and fan base growth. Your problem is the quality and the control of your music. It's the only thing you should be focused on right now. So if you're in that bubble of what I just mentioned, that's where your focus should be. The other thing is <laughs> fucking self-awareness. Like I'm calm, I, I, I'm, I'm talking to artists and I, I, I don't know. I, I, I hate to say this because I don't want to like stomp on people's dreams but i talk to artists who like they're so confident in their music and it sounds like shit and i'm like what like honestly i i i don't i didn't script this video i don't even care how many views this gets or how many book calls this gets i just want to get on and say this and make it public what are y'all doing like the music doesn't sound good and, and, and fuck being subjective. Like I'm, I'm not even talking about my opinion. I'm talking about, cause I'm, I'm really open-minded when it comes to music. I'm very open-minded. I like all types of styles. I'll, I'll listen to hip hop rap. I'll value country, um, R and B metal. I got a homie who I used to work with at the coffee shop. She's in a metal band. I would listen, I would hear her stuff and say, this is good stuff. Like, even though it's not my taste, I can value quality music. And I'm, I'm listening to some of y'all and I'm like, what the fuck? And by the way, it's not your fault. It's your responsibility, but it's not your fault. It's good to have dreams. It's good to be confident. I like that. I respect, sometimes I respect confidence. I like confidence. You should have that. You know, but if you're not controlling the quality of your music, 
Fuck fan base growth. That's not where your focus should be. Because that shit's easy. To be honest with you, like getting views, it's not hard. I've learned ways to do it. It's like really not that difficult. It takes money. But it, it's not, uh, to understand how to market your music, it's not that hard. It's not. The quality of your music though, like you need that part figured out and dialed in. I think to be able to put out quality music on a consistent basis, I do think that that's difficult. Because if you're not, because what do 99% of artists do? You're probably doing what 99% of artists do. And if you keep doing it, you're going to quit and you're never going to make it as a musician. There's a reason that only 1% of artists make it in music because of the decisions that they make. There's a reason that only a small percentage of people make a certain amount of money. The 1%, there's a reason that it's only 1% because it's hard because people make bad decisions and aren't self-aware. And I'm trying to help you with that today. And that's why it's not your fault. 99% of artists buy beats, work with producers, pay for mixing, mastering, pay for studio time. That's what most artists do. Some artists end up making it that way. Drake, he's got 40. You know, most, most of the big artists, the big name artists, yeah, they have producers they work with. But you know what? That's a tiny, tiny percentage. To try to build yourself to get to that point where you can really like put out music on a consistent basis, it's, you gotta be in control of the music. I'm living proof of that. I make beats, I mix, I master. I do everything myself here in the studio, here in my freaking house. And it's, it's served me so well because I've been able to make thousands of dollars mixing and mastering for other artists and selling beats. And I can put out songs whenever I want. When I go perform, I perform songs I produced. When I sell CDs, which I actually have people who buy CDs now, it's crazy. It's music I've produced. And now I've been able to parlay that and turn that into a coaching program where I teach artists how to become their own music producers. And now I'm able to grow my music career because I can produce my own songs and put them out when I want. There's no issues when I go promote. There's no issues when I'm trying to grow on Spotify or when I'm trying to gain fans. I produce my music because I can pump out music whenever I want. And at this point, I built such a large catalog that when a fan does come and see me, they're going to see all this music and be like, damn. So if you're an artist right now and you're not able to fully produce your own music, you're making a huge mistake and you're, you are going to be on your way to failure. You don't need to know how to play an instrument. You don't need expensive equipment and you don't need years of experience and it's not gonna take you years to do it, okay? I have clients who get results all the time, all the time, that don't have any of those things. One of my clients named Ryan, he had no prior music production experience at all coming into my program. He's 34 years old. He actually, earlier in his career, had actually quit doing music. He was doing it all in, just like you probably are and was like, I'm all in on my dreams, this, that, and the third. I'm, I'm depending on producers. I'm depending on mixing, mastering people. And he just got so burnt out with everything because he hated depending on people. He quit his music, went on a five-year hiatus, came back, but when he came back, he was back to buying beats on BeatStars and back to his same old ways. And he was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. Ended up finding me on Instagram, booked a call, joined the program, seven weeks later, where we are now is seven weeks later, he has pumped out over 14 beats. And in August, he's making a beat a day in August. So he's pumped out over 14 beats in seven weeks with no music production experience prior to this, doesn't know how to play an instrument, and he just finished mixing his first fully self-produced song. It's all of his vocals. He made the beat, he wrote the lyrics, he recorded the vocals, he mixed it, just finished mixing it with no prior music production experience. Imagine where you could be. Imagine where you could be if today you made a decision and said, you know what? I'm gonna actually start producing my own music and I'm gonna learn from a guy who knows. It'll literally take you three months. Three months from now, you'll never have to buy beats again. You'll never have to pay for mixing mastering. You'll never have to wonder if your music sounds good or if it's quality or not and you'll never have to depend on anybody else ever again. You'll never have to wonder where your next song is coming from. That's a huge weight off your shoulders if you really think about it. So here's what you can do. 
If you wanna work with me, click below and book a call with me. I would really love to speak with you. I guarantee results for all my clients. You're gonna have two things. You're gonna have at least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered by you that you're excited to release. And you're gonna have all the skills you need to never need to buy beats or pay for mixing, mastering, or rely on producers ever again. If at the end of three months, both of those are not accomplished, I keep working with you for free until they're accomplished. I have clients like, like I told you, Ryan, Ange, used to take three months to make a song, ended up getting two songs done in two months, joined my rapid fire production sales accelerator. She closed seven custom production clients in, in uh, 30 days. Pretty freaking crazy. Carlos, three weeks into the program, already made three beats. I was gonna say two beats, he made three. Three beats in three weeks, and he already has written and recorded his first song in three weeks that he made the beat to. These things don't happen by accident. So here's what you can do. Click below, book a call, and to be honest with you, have some payment ready. You don't need to pay for the call. The call is completely free, obviously. But if you're going to book a call, I'm not saying you have to book a call, but if you're going to book a call, don't come on the call just to gather information or just to get some free game or just to network with me. Don't waste my time. Book a call if you're ready to pay and get started. Book a call if you're ready to invest in yourself. Okay? If you're not, cool, don't book a call. No worries. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, right? Like and subscribe. But book a call and you're going to literally be producing music in three months. So at this point, you have two choices. Number one, you could click off this video and keep on scrolling with your thumbs and mindlessly doing what you were doing from before and be on your way to failing in your music career. Or you could book a call with me and change your entire life in the next three months, like I've done for my other clients. So decision is pretty much up to you. All right. Appreciate you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to talking to you soon. Peace.